Hello everyone, and welcome to Black Cloud Travels. My name is Doris. Today is June 23rd, and we have been on the road for 45 days. This episode is the second part to our final day on the Dempster. In this episode, we are picking up where we left off at the end of the Dempster Highway. Here, we are driving into downtown Dawson City. The reason we cut this into two episodes is our final day on the Dempster as we finished off the Dempster was a 20 minute video and tacking on a five minute drive into Dawson City seemed to make it a little long. So instead of cutting this video, we decided to show it. Besides, who wouldn't want to see a nice sunny drive to downtown Dawson City? So please join us. While doing our research on Dawson City before leaving on our trip, we found that there were two major campgrounds. One was the Bonanza campground on the outskirts of Dawson City, and the other was the Gold Rush campground right in downtown Dawson City. Now, which campground you decided to stay at depended on your budget or your priorities. Downtown Dawson City tended to be a little more expensive, but everything was within walking distance. So here you see us pull into the Bonanza campground. This is where we stayed on the night before we left for the Dempster Highway. We are not staying here tonight, but rather giving the RV a much needed wash. This time we will be staying at the Gold Rush Campground in downtown Dawson City. I'm hoping it won't be as dry and dusty as the Bonanza Campground was and I'm hoping that we will have some decent internet for a change. Oddly enough it occurred to me that people these days do not go to Dawson City looking for gold, rather they go looking for a good Wi-Fi signal and maybe even a chance to call home. So by this point, I have already called ahead to the Gold Rush campground to see if they had anything available. We could not do that up until this point because once again we had no Wi-Fi signal. Luckily enough, he said yes, they did have openings, however, there was a big event going on and we would not be able to take the main road into town. Rather, we had to come in through the back door. As you can see, this proved a little confusing for us as we time and again stopped to gather our bearings and maybe check the map. I'm enjoying driving up and down the streets of Dawson City because there are many, many historical sites here. So after a couple of spins around the block, we finally find our campground. And there it is, the Gold Rush Campground. We stayed here three nights, and I really liked the place. The owners were very friendly and helpful, and they ran the tightest laundry room I have ever seen. I was very delighted with their little gift shop, which of course had the obligatory postcards, bumper stickers, patches, shot glasses, but I was also very happy with the fact that they were promoting local artists and writers by selling their books. So 
So here we've come to the end of this episode of Black Cloud Travels. On behalf of Frank and myself, I'd like to thank you for joining us, and we hope you join us again. Bye-bye for now.